Hey guys, it's Tony for Pro Edge Paintball, and today we're going to be doing a review on the infamous Generation 2 Pro DNA arm pads. These arm pads are pretty sweet. They're a minimalist style so that there's not a lot of pads where you don't need them, and it's only where you need it. So what that means is it's going to be a minimalist pad, so there's it's very thin. It's not bulky like some other pads are. It's designed to just really just give you what you need and get out of the way for the rest. One of the things that I really like about this pad is that it uses a memory foam style foam in here for the pad. So it's very dense, even though it's very thin. And so it does provide a lot of protection. I, I wear these for a while now to test them out. I kind of like them. They don't really move around, but what I really like is when I do get shot in the forearm, snapping out from behind a bunker or just whatever, I don't really feel that shot and I really like that. The other thing is like when I'm sliding into a snake or a Dorito head first, like I don't really feel anything on my arms when I'm sliding and my arms are down and I'm just going. So I'm a big fan of that. I really kind of like these pads if I'm being honest. The next thing I like about these pads is that the top of the hand is mesh so it helps keep you breathing like it gives you that breathability on the top of your hand helps keeps you cool just like there's a mesh at the elbow for these arm pads all right that's another great point part of keeping you cool especially in this Texas heat that we get down here the material itself is made out of a moisture wicking fabric so it's gonna it's going to wick that moisture away and keep you dry keep you cool and not miserable in these arm pads if you're sweating real bad big fan of that as well the top of the pad itself is covered in an abrasive material uh, abrasive resistant material and what that does it's designed to kind of break up when you break up the damage i guess is the best way to put it like when you're sliding like it's not going to tear up the front of the arm pad that means you get a lot more life out of the arm pad I'm a big fan of that. Like I said, I've been wearing these for about six months and I'm not the most graceful of person. I, I kind of just belly flop the ground when I dive and these have held up really well to the horrible punishment I put up on them. So I'm a big fan of that as well. At the top, we have our elastic band that holds it snug and secure up on the top of your arm. And if you look on the inside is a silicone grip strip that's in here that prevents it from sliding around loose and slipping down it does hold in place pretty well over here you don't really have over here at the hand you don't really have that but the way this hand is made it definitely prevents it from sliding down and overlapping your hand which is really nice I've been, like I said, I've been wearing these pads for a while now testing them out they've held up to all of the damage I can put them through They've done really well in my opinion, and if you're looking for something that's breathable and not bulky but doesn't have a lot of padding, I definitely would look at these Generation 2 Infamous Pro DNA arm pads. I think they're a great choice to go. They're very cool in the summer heat. They do well in the woods, on tournament fields, on turf, on grass. They just have been holding up for me. I think they're a great buy. And you can shop us online for these at ProEdgePaintball.com. We hope this video answered any questions you may have had about these arm pads. But if you still have any questions, drop them down below in the comments section and let us know. We'll do our best to get those questions answered for you. If you like the video, please like and subscribe it. Subscribe to us so that you can keep getting content from us on other items that we'll be doing reviews for going forward. And uh, thank you for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day.